Hey YouTube, what's up? I uh, figured I would make a new video. Uh, it's been a while, so make a new video on uh, on the update on my 6.0. Uh, well, everyone said that there was an EGR, like because I opened the EGR valve and it was all damp inside. People said so it looked damp, but it turned out most of you were wrong. It actually turned to be a blown head gasket. I was driving home one day and uh, noticed a lot, a lot of white smoke from the back of my tailpipe so it pulled over. Opened the hood and lo and behold there's pu uh, puke and coolant everywhere so yeah, what can you do. Uh, just an update on the parts I bought so far for my truck. Um, one of the biggest parts I bought and the most expensive was a new fuel system from uh, Elite Diesel. Uh, I was gonna get a what is that Air Dog 2 but uh, kinda went with this aftermarket one just cause you get I mean this thing is is amazing so um, what do we got here alright so first thing is you get this big ass ass feed line from the tank um, so eh, my truck will never be starved for fuel uh, I get a couple other other uh, lines just you know from the uh, from the pump to the tank um, then from the pump to the heads and then etc. I'm not a genius with this, I'm not going to install it. Uh, this is just the brackets, uh, instruction manuals. Um, here we go. So air motive. Uh, this is the return, the regulator I believe, I think so. Um, yeah, so that's just the return line. Um, or the regulator, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. I don't have to pretend I know what I'm doing. Uh, this is the new. Sorry. This is the new. Uh, the fi filter, fuel filter. Um, pretty freaking small, but it's supposed to be one micron or something, two microns. Oh no, hundred micron. There we go. Should probably read first. Uh, yeah. So that's that. Um, you also get this, which is the pump itself. Yeah, this is the this is the pump. Uh, it replaces the new one. So like this is a whole new system from the tank all the way up. Um, so this is the pump, and then the this goes here uh, with a couple fittings. Uh, then that goes all the way on top of uh, I believe it's the alternator bolts too. Uh, this is the new pickup line. Uh, let's see, you got to cut it apparently uh, for the tank. So that's the pickup line. Then the big big tube. This one goes on the end of, end of there. Um, so like, there's a lot of parts to this thing. Uh, cost me two grand total. A uh, couple fittings, no big deal. Some more fittings right here. Um, then the mounting bolts for the pump, pump itself. Uh, a new oil drain, or like a new oil uh, where the oil filter sits. It gets rid of the uh, fuel filter that's bolted onto this on the stock configuration. Uh, gets rid of that, and so I got a hole. Just, uh, just the oil filter goes in there. Um, and well, these everyone can figure out. Those are the new uh, fuel lines for the heads and all that. Connect all that up. Uh, some more. You get two small ones like this. Uh, and you get one big long one, and then some smaller ones. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of parts. I'm already cluttering this place. Uh, electrical hooking up the pump. Um, new I believe these are boundary bolts I don't know for sure but uh, this new parts for the heads itself again uh, this is just a uh, uh, what do we call it one of them uh, pressure gauges so you can set it to 60 psi this part right here I'm guessing this is the part that I had to wait three weeks for didn't have it in stock but the one thing that I, I do uh, like about elite diesel was I live in Canada, so uh, my truck was in the shop, but I couldn't hook this, put this up because, uh, well, I had I needed my truck, so I got them to just put the stock one on. I'm gonna get them to do this later. Uh, but Elite Diesel, thankfully, uh, I asked them if they could, you know, ship it by air, uh, just to get it faster rather than shipping it by stock. And I thought I was gonna say, can you send it for free? And lo and behold, they sent it for free. So uh, that was great. That's great business. Uh, right there uh, if you're gonna 
order. Uh, I'm going to say order from JD. Uh, he's the guy that I ordered mine from. Uh, he's a great guy. So I'll try and give him some help. Um, this is... I don't know. It's a block. <laughs> it just hooks up the other tubes. They just run run different places and etc. Uh, this bad boy right here. This is get it out. Drain. Alright. Sorry about that. Okay, so running out of room here. That's the uh, this is the water separator. Um, the only thing I don't like about this kit is this plastic thing right here. Like it's I don't know how th tough this is or durable. But I'm thinking if I go off-roading and I hit a rock, that I hope that doesn't break because it seems kind of, kind of flimsy. Um, so yeah, that's the whole kit for from Elite Diesel, and then this is just the uh, that's just a drain plug screws into there. It seems really easy. Drain the water out, and it's super simple. Uh, the only bad part about this is these are each a hundred bucks, I believe, for a new filter. Um, but. I mean, ho hopefully when I hook this up, my truck's just going to run great. It's going to get all the fuel it wants. Uh, I plan to do stage one injectors eventually. Uh, that won't be for a while. Some other things I got for my truck. Uh, this right here. Just got... Figured I'm in the engine. I might as well do everything I can that I want to get done. Damn it, a lot, a lot of stuff. So, eight new glow plugs. So there you go. That's done. Probably need a glow plug relay. I'm not not gonna say it's a 2005 F350, uh, 200,000 kilometers. Um, it's, it's in great shape. It's a Lariat crew cab. Uh, the fan clutch. I noticed there was a lot of squealing in winter or winter in summer. Uh, so I figured that was the fan clutch. Uh, I get these parts discounted actually, so I'm saving a ton of money. But at the same time, I might as well. It still it still costs a lot to do all this. Like. Uh, first first ever diesel owning and I picked the six liter just because I love the sound I love the truck uh, I like other car or other trucks I mean Cummins engine there's nothing that beats a Cummins engine uh, just bulletproof those things their transmission suck except for the manual um, then Chevy I love their trucks I love the uh, the exterior I just hate the plasticky feel on the interior uh, so this is just the oil cooler new one uh, all the all the gaskets all that. Then the oil cooler, you know, these famous things that like to like to freaking leak or plug up and gum. And, and the one thing, if you look in, I don't know if it's either the EGR cooler or the oil cooler, if you look at the way they have it designed, they have it exactly the same. I don't know if you can see this. It's like the exact same design as this cardboard here. I don't know if that's where they got their idea. If they some guy just looked at cardboard and was like, hey, let's just use this idea. But... Obviously that failed. That guy should should not be working there. Uh, a thermostat. These things are f big compared to the one I put in my Jeep. Uh, I have a 92 Jeep Cherokee. Like that thing was just like maybe this size right here. That's it. Uh, and so these are huge. Uh, new serpentine belt. I mean, cheap enough. Might as well just fix it. Uh, I got a EGR Delete from. Bulletproof diesel. I was gonna go with the sinister, but I heard things where the gaskets leak and etc. So you know, I just felt like going. And this way, it looks stock on the truck. Uh, if anybody ever pulled me over or something, who knows? Uh, I can say, oh no, that's just just that's just the EGR cooler. It's fine. Everything's good. Um, I don't like their customer service. People say it's good, but I've been asking them questions, sending them emails, and not getting answers. And then when I send a question that pertains to me actually buying an item rather than asking about the item that uh, I already bought, they'll send me an answer when I, wa I want to buy something, but when I'm asking about the thing I bought, they won't send me an answer. So their customer service compared to Elite Diesel is garbage, but it's, their parts are great. Um, I, this is the, uh, oh, just dropped that, that's good. All right, this is the new, like, I got a lot of parts here. This is just clutter, clutter, clutter. The new uh, fan, or not fan, water pump from Bulletproof. Uh, figured I'd might as well try the metal one. Uh, the plastic ones, I mean, I don't have experience with it breaking because I think mine's fine, but I'm in there. The guy's going to change this. It's simple enough to just buy it and replace it. Don't have to worry about it. 
uh, lifetime warranty. That's one thing about bulletproof diesel, lifetime warranty, I love that. Um, then this is the GR Delete. Um, I don't know if you're going to be, oh you might be able to see. As you can see right there, uh, bulletproof just welded that. I was going to take mine out and get someone to weld the stainless steel or just buy like a new one from Ford since I get a deal and then get them to weld the stainless steel but I figured by the time I bought it then get someone to weld stainless uh, that's a professional welder not me because I'd make it leak uh, it would probably cost probably about the same to buy this so I just spent the money spent the money and uh, bought the EGR cooler delete kit uh, the only thing I don't like and they do say that it doesn't come with the uh, the gaskets here um, that's the only thing I don't like about it. I'm paying $400 for it. You'd think that they could at least give you the gaskets. Uh, but I'm not going to say like this is this is going to definitely be the best EGR Delete out there. So I'm not complaining about it completely. I'm just saying it would be nice if you got some gaskets for $400. But uh, so yeah, uh, yeah. But that that's the biggest thing I would say is if you want your truck to run good is buy one of these systems here you know the whole freaking getting rid of the small small lines and uh... what's going with this bigger like look at this that's massive right there that's that's huge um, and like it the kit is great everything everything the quality of everything is just great um, Except for this, I don't, I don't, I, I still don't know about that. I'm hoping it's just, it's gonna hold up. But other than that, great kit, JD at Elite Diesel. Uh, give him an email or something like that, and he'll, he'll hook you up with the, everything. Uh, I'm not a sponsor or anything of Elite Diesel. I just, that was amazing customer service. So I feel like I can, uh, I'll promote them because hopefully they don't get mad or anything like that. But just great great people to work with looking forward to uh, buying some injectors from them you know all that stuff uh, definitely the people I'm gonna buy from uh, just off that the customer service is great I'll even pay if it's an extra hundred dollars more for injectors compared to somewhere else I'll pay it just for the just for that customer service the glow plugs again uh, yeah and uh, ooh, and my mellow yellow and my vanilla coke uh, went to the states so had to grab some of that since we don't have that up here in Canada um, yeah so that's all the stuff uh, massive amount of parts um, still haven't fixed my truck it's been like six months or not six months I guess like three months or something uh, but still haven't fixed it I've just I don't have the the biggest job out there so it's harder to make money just to like outright buy it uh like not buy it, but you know what i mean like pay for the everything because it's like it's like a six grand job or five grand job just without all the aftermarket parts i'm buying uh so i just feel like i'm gonna do it once i'm gonna i want to take out the cab off once and that's it so if i have to spend some extra money that's what i gotta do and my truck will be running great so uh figured i would share with you guys hope you enjoy it uh like comment whatever i don't care um, anyway, thanks. Have a good day.